poem by Dean that I want to read is titled Bronze. The, that dusty bubble gum, once ubiquitous as starlings, is no more, my love. Whistling dinosaurs now populate only animation studios. The furious actions of angels causing their breasts to flop out in mannerist frescoes flake away as sleet holds us in its teeth. And the bus station's old urinals go under the grindstone, and the youthful spelunkers graduate into the wrinkle-causing sun. The sea, seemingly a constant to the naked eye, is one long goodbye. Perpetually, the tide recedes, beaches dotted with debris. Unto each is given a finite number of addresses, ditties to dart the heart to its moments of sorrow and swoon. The sword's hilt glints, the daffodils bow down, all as temporary as a perfect haircut, a kitten in the lap. Yet sitting here with you, my darling, waiting for a tuna melt and side of slaw, seems all eternity I'll ever need, and all eternity needs of me. And uh, one of mine I'm going to read is uh, titled The Goldberg Variations. And the last line of the poem is spoken by the person that the poem is addressed to. The Goldberg Variations. I had to look it up because I thought it was a fish. Not the tail of hair, the man you called your boy, swung behind the counter and vintage vinyl bins. We do give our heads away to hair for the nonce, which smacks of short-term wowies, but speaks imagination's desire for what's complete, for long love, the Goldberg variations, a full meal, like the BBQ a man cooked on a George Foreman spliced to an underpass pole to feed his ruthless pals. But your mullet could hardly tie his own shoes, cook beans and rice, or tend somewhere his son the mullet is all about music, the fullness of a fearless middle-aged schoolgirl crush. So forgive me if I thought, there she goes again, inviting the bad for the good, because of course we do it all the time. If we live for passion, the more of things, an aria, burger bliss. So forgive me for thinking she knows better. She can't really mean maybe he'll change. Embittered and slammed so many times already by other youngsters with fades or Hasidic locks, the one-nighter skinhead, the mohawk bouncer, because it's you who use them up for love. Can't help it. Even love that gelled lizardine. <laughs>